Hello there. Welcome to, let's just take that off. Ugh, mask mouth, it's disgusting. Hello there. Welcome to the Airgun Gear Show. It's 2022 and as you can see, something rather important is going on. That's right, I'm here at SHOT Show in Las Vegas and this is going to be my best bits of what I've seen. My top picks, my top guns and the top people that I've seen going round. We've waited two years to get this re-going so I'm just going to shut up now and run the tape. We have all this coming up, a couple of new releases, plenty of chat with the main players in the airgun world, maybe some secrets, a bit of humour, some outtakes, and stick around for RMAC news at the end. It's been awesome to connect again after nearly two years. First, a disclosure. This video is funded entirely by me and in association with airgun101.com, the best place for the latest airgun videos on the web, and in association with my day job, airgun101shop.co.uk. No one has paid to be in this video. <laughs> right. Welcome to SHOT Show 2022. My name is Joe, I'm with Predator International. We are the American importers and distributors of JSP pellets. And I'm here to tell you about what's new for 2022. First off, I'll start here. Everyone knows about the knockouts. Well now in 25, we'll have the Mark II knockouts. The difference between those and the regular knockouts is that though I actually have a flare towards the base of the slug and it helps fill out the rifling when you're shooting them. It'll also be available and the knockouts in 22 and the 216s, they, they too will come out in the Mark II version. Also with the knockouts, we will be bringing out a 218 size 22 caliber slug. And we have big, big, big hopes and wishes that that one shoots really well. And as soon as we get them, we'll release them to the public. For guys who shoot the 30 caliber and we're wanting a slug, we now have the knockouts in 30 caliber. Those are due to come out later this year and again we have high hopes for those. Uh, last year we released the 30 caliber Hades and uh, people were asking for something bigger so GSB heard what you all were saying and they've come out with the 35 caliber Hades. It's a 77 grain pellet and they are in production right now and will be released actually within the next few months so please look out for those and when those are available, they will be at your local retailers. We also want you all to remember that this past year, we did come out with the 177 knockouts. They come in two grain weights, 10.03 uh, grains and 13.43 grains. These are working really well in lower power PCPs, and I do hear of some people having good success with them in Magnum Springers. So if you have something that you want to shoot 177 slugs with, try these. They work very well. Thank you for visiting us. If you have any questions, you can reach us at PredatorPellets.com or we're on social media. You can reach us at Predator Pellets on Facebook and at Predator Pellets on Instagram. Because I can talk the hind leg of a donkey. On the Air Venturi stand, there are a couple of things, of course, that always catch my eye. Now, we always talk about very high-end, expensive PCPs, but actually, you don't have to spend a huge amount of money 
if you want to fire the odd shot or two. This is the Air Venturi Dragonfly Mark II. Now, I don't think I can ever remember seeing the Mark I, but this is the Mark II. There we go. What's so special about this? Well, it's a pumper and there it is. Now, there's a special patented lever look, that makes this easier to pump. And what you have to do is you have to do that sort of, you know, 15 times, and then you're gonna get almost a full power rifle. And when I say almost, you've gotta be reasonably sensible. It's gonna put out at around 850 feet per second in 2.2, and around 720, 730 in 177. So you're gonna get around 14, 15 foot pounds in 2.2, and just below the 12 in 177. But, you don't need any tank, you don't need a compressor, you don't need a cylinder or anything like that. You simply pump away. Now, you have to pump 15 times to get that rifle up to pressure, but if you just need to take the odd shot for very occasional pest control in your backyard, or you just wanna sit and do a little bit of target plinking, and you don't wanna to have to buy all the other stuff that comes with higher end expensive air guns, it's a possibility. It's got a little bolt action at the side like that. You simply cock it by pulling that back. Comes with a single shot tray and you do get a magazine with it as well as a single shot tray. Now in 2.2 it's seven shots and in 177 it's nine shots in the little included magazine. But like I say you do get a single shot tray. You've got some open sights on the top and it's threaded at the front should you wish to put a moderator on. Nice sort of like fibre sights on the top. There is a rail at the back there. I think looks like a dovetail, so I'm guessing it is. Rubberized shoulder pad, nice stained wooden stock. You've got a safety and a very good, nice chunky looking trigger there as well. So literally 200 bucks, well actually a few cents under 200 bucks gets you a pump action. I suppose you could call it a little PCP. I, I think that's gonna be very popular. If you're in America, you are lucky enough to get your hands on some stuff that we don't see in the UK, even though I think we should. This is the Avenger Bullpup. Now, get a load of this. This is, and I have to say the original Avenger has been very, very popular. This is really tidy. I, it's the first time I've seen it and I am super impressed. This is clean, smooth, there's no burrs, well made. That is a nice looking bit of kit. Now, it comes in 177, 22 and 25 and you get two magazines, look, that sort of sit in the bottom like that, which is really quite clever, really quite nice. And power wise, you're gonna go from sort of like bigger caliber, you're gonna go from around 900 and something up to around a thousand feet per second with the 177. So there's plenty of oomph from this gun. Adjustable regulator, so externally adjustable regulator. So this one here is your red gauge and this one here on that side, that one there is your fill gauge and it fills to 300 bar, which is quite high. But um, yeah, I can see why you've got a small reservoir. It's obviously more pressure, more shots. Nice raised Picatinny uh, rail on the top. So when you do bring it up like that, imagine your scope's gonna be there. That's gonna be a really nice fit. Side lever action, just there. There's your safety at the back. Rubberized shoulder pad that goes up and down and you get a single shot tray and those magazines included as well. Adjustable trigger. You've got pick rails on the front at the side. So you could do a side mounted bipod or you could do torch or toys or whatever and then you've got space to put your bipod on the bottom there's somewhere there's a loop there look if you wanted to put a stick this has got everything what why has this got everything it, it's even got things on there so that you can put a sling on some other people need to pay attention to that because this <laughs> seems to have everything anyway there we go this is the avenger bullpup i think that's incredibly well thought out it shoulders very very well yeah i like that and get this because this is us price obviously 
this is $399. So UK, that would be uh, probably about four and a half thousand pounds, judging by, you know, I'm gonna say that out loud, but $399 for this, that is fantastic. I am super, super impressed with that. I've shown this off a few times, actually over the past couple of years, because it's taken a little while to come out, but I know now that it is out, and this has actually been one of my favorite things to get a look at for a long time. This is the Badder Bang. Now, this is quite heavy to stand and hold this up, because it really is quite a sturdy bit of kit. You can shoot at this sort of sub 12 foot pounds, uh, is what they advise, um, but it's a portable, interactive target shooting system. So you do that, and then you can carry that around and maybe if you've got a really big jacket you can put it in your jacket but it might ruin your jacket and then what you do is you press the button on the side and it all pops up now i've got to do that without smashing myself in the face there you go there you go you see so it's there and then what you do is you can shoot your targets the thing is is that it interacts with an app and that's an app that's already out there it's on iphone and android and what that app does it communicates with the target so you can do speed shooting you can record your times you can do you know by moving this forward and back different distances and the app allows you to share and compete with your friends around the world so for example if you've got a friend on the other side of the Atlantic you can challenge them to a speed shoot with one of these and you can see exactly what's going on they have to have a bada bang obviously and they have to have all the setups so that they can challenge you. So one isn't gonna do everything. You have to have the system itself. And I think the app in earlier on sort of stages needed a few things added to it. And I'm told now by Air Venturi that it's completely there and it's it's off and running. So that's the Badder Bang. It really is, from when I first saw it a couple of years ago, a real sturdy, very clever little portable target system and I want one. What's happening y'all? This is Ton Jones at the Air Force Air Guns booth. We'd like to get a little feedback from the visitors that come see us. Who are you and what are you doing and what do you like about the show? Absolutely, my name is Lacey and this is Athena and Chelsea and we are here with Notorious Gun Care with Renegade Products and also Combat Abrasives that manufactures um, abrasives for custom knife making and even epoxies for the handles and everything. I actually know these people. Do you? Dude. This isn't the first time? No. Yes. That's cool. I know who they are. This is absolutely amazing. That's awesome. I'm excited. This is cool. So cool. what have you seen at the show that you like so far? You guys see. I was really liking the raw cha chassis rifle. The raw chassis gun, the new yeah. raw. So it's pretty heavy, but it's really heavy duty as well. So if you want something that's going to be fun to shoot, this is what you need to check out. So is there any new products you all have seen at the show in general out of the whole show you're walking around that you've seen that's been caught your eye like, holy crap, that's awesome. We're still exploring. Yeah, yeah we, this everywhere. is my first day, so I'm still getting to see what's everything. I got too attracted to the dog, but just seeing everything in general. Okay, let's yeah. be real. Every time there's an animal at the show, no matter what the new product is, they're screwed. Yeah. The animal wins. Yes. Okay, Every let's time. let's Every check time. this out. This is my 25th, 25th year at SHOT oh, wow. Show. How many years have you been here? One. This is actually my first. Yeah. First. I was going to go last year, but it got canceled. So. Welcome to the Thunderdome. Oh, God. You're going to need to take a lot of time and tour. There's a lot of really cool products and a lot of good people to torture and have fun with it because everybody here has a great sense of humor. And if you're looking for a food porn, you just follow him. Oh, yep. okay. Ah. Everybody knows, go to my Instagram for the food porn. It's Did amazing. I will be going there. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at the size of me. I don't miss a meal. Hey, I love else. food too, though. Say hey. coffee. Food my coffee. thigh weighs more than all of you put together. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Yeah, Enjoy so much. and welcome to SHOT Show. Yeah, it was great meeting you. So um, about four brother. and a half minutes of Maggie. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll... Do you want me to start? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're better at this. Okay, for sure. I'll start. John, hey, how are you? No, John, I can't, I can't hear you. Mute. You're probably on mute. Press the.
Press the after two years, we really think you might have got the hang of this. Mute, mute, mute. No, okay. We haven't got all day. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Look, mute there. Oh. All right. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Uh, thanks, Charles. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Much oh, better. I can Thank hear you. you. There you go. Hello. Yeah. Hey, hey Giles, uh, you know we can do this face to face, right? We're we're in America. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. We, why don't we just go meet outside? Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll bring cameras downstairs. Okay. I'm coming now. Okay. Great. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Giles! John! Hello! How, <laughs> How are, are you? you? Good to see you. Man, it is awesome to see you. They let you out of England. They did, actually. I can. You I know can, you don't have to wear the mask. No, I can actually We're take in America. this off, which is really nice. There's certain freedoms still here, I've depending probably, on the state. Yeah, I've probably got mask mouth yet, to be honest. <laughs> I've probably got mask mouth, but there we go. And uh, look at you! Uh, don't you yeah. look well. Well, thank you. Yeah. yeah I did. You're looking good yourself. It's well, all, I think that's, I'm just excited to see I, you. I think that's very polite. There's a lot less of you mm. and a lot more of me. It was a, it, an exchange. Yeah, across the Atlantic. <laughs> yes. And you do look very dapper. Oh, thank I you. have to say. Yeah, well, in Vegas, yeah. uh, you know, I've got to dress up, have fun. And and have you, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, eh? Huh? Eh? <laughs> Fine, fair enough. Okay, <laughs> lovely. Should we talk about the hat now? What, what about the hat? It's a good hat. It's a good, it's a very nice hat. I like a good hat. It's a good, it is a good hat, i got to say. It's, very, it's useful in more ways than one. Yeah, but. lovely. It's a nice hat. <laughs> right. We're in Las Vegas. Yep. Let's cut to the chase. It's SHOT Show 2022. SHOT Show actually happened. It actually I think happened. like a week ago, we yeah. weren't sure. And you're... Um... Oh, what's up? How's that work? Multitasking. <laughs> this is good. Okay, so you're in SHOT Show 2022. Yep. Um, you're FX. Yes, I what's do. What's new, Mr. John? Well, you know, we come to, uh, to SHOT Show. We don't have a booth here. This is not where we release our yeah, items. Sure. Actually, is it? We, I see a trend. <laughs> this is pretty okay. good. Um, we are, our model is we, we want to build the item, have it available, yeah. come out to the public, say, hey, by the way, here's this grand new thing. Uh, you can go buy it right away. That, that's our okay. model. Yeah. We're not like come to a show, hide it behind glass, talk about it for a year. Nah, you, you, you got to do things the right way. It's it's not hard, Giles. Okay. Giles. okay. It's not hard. All right. It's, it's okay. All right. It's gloss, an easy model. I'll gloss over that comment, <laughs> shall I? Yeah. Uh, okay. So fair enough. But and so you 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 you've, you've confuddled me with that one. But let's go back to my original question. Anything new? <laughs> new. Uh, you know. Yes, there is new stuff coming this year. There is. Okay. <laughs> that was a note. Ooh. It's going well. I think I got an ice cream. <laughs> oh. We shared ice cream two years ago, I think. We did, absolutely. No, that yeah. was three years ago. We, three years we ago. drove in a Ferrari last time. We went upgrade, and this time we're leaning against the pillar outside the Palacio. <laughs> <laughs> budget. 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 Actually, no, and there's no budget problems. There is a, a, that one got uh, thrown at you. Oh, yeah. But, uh, okay. okay, I can tell you this. Right. There's new things coming out. I, I guess the main thing people want to know is, you know, if someone's about to buy an Impact or a Crown yes. or the existing line, you don't have to worry about we're not gonna pull the rug under. Meaning, okay. uh, nothing that's, look, the M3 is, I think ever since it got released last April, it has taken on a life of its own where it is, it was already an iconic gun. Oh, top. Uh, it is now, you know, it, it's always innovating. We got the barrel tuners, yep. we got the different, some electronics things coming out for it. So yep. um, I can say you don't have to worry about the existing line also becoming obsolete overnight. Okay, so that's actually really nice to know. So if you're out there and you're thinking, this is the year I'm going to get an impact, or this is the year I'm going to get a crown. Yeah, go for it. it go for it. There's no go reason for to it. not to. You're not about to drop it. <laughs> okay. I, do you know what? I think someone likes you. You're not, you're, you're, not, you're not about to, you know. Only a dollar? Only a dollar. <laughs> Clearly. That's more than I'm getting. Okay. 
dressed well enough for a little bit more. Than, right. oh, thank you. That's more okay. like it. So basically, um, what you're saying is, is that for the next few months, crown and impact, that sort of size, that's not going to change. Yeah, well, and, and we always have the um, rolling innovations, but it's yeah. more like if you <laughs> already have an impact, there might be other things for it, right? Okay, lots yeah. of accessories, add-ons, and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Little innovations, but of there course. are there are other things coming this year, and um... that person actually looked homeless, and they're actually throwing money at you. It's I feel like they need it more than me. It's slightly concerning. <laughs> it's now raining money, John. That, that, that is that, not that, like that, a world class handball player or anything like that. There's, absolutely not. That is not a good. Yeah, I wonder what you do in your spare time. To be honest, if if you've got people passing by just giving you money. Anyway, should we carry on? Uh, oh, did you meet up with Matt Element? I did, yes. Went there down to Bullet some, Central. There are some very exciting things coming for Element this year. Right. Did he share with you? Uh, no. Oh, uh, so then I can't share with you. Perhaps Sorry. you'd like to... Okay. I was about to tell you, but if Matt says no, then I can't. Matt's in control there. All right, fair enough. Um, okay. Outside of... Uh, <laughs> worst thrower ever. Do you know what? Sometimes people don't make your job any easier no they really don't so um anyway so I, I feel like we're approachable enough they could just lean in and give us money yeah maybe i stink I'm, that's why we're getting the money perhaps it's me <laughs> just being from oh okay uh, oh thank you. okay thank this you. vegas thing works doesn't it we should stand out well you could just stand out here more often anyway let's keep going you're doing well um we'll have a tot up in a minute so we've got no, no um, changes on that line something else is coming but you won't tell me what it is yep Something else is coming from Element, but you won't tell, tell me is. what it is. Um, so we're doing well here. Is there anything you can tell me? I have an archery chronograph. Okay. It's not air gun related. Not really. <laughs> not really. But if you if you if you're into your archery you an and archer? your air guns, yeah, I'm not an archer. No, the no. chronograph where it, it uh, goes on with stabilizer to the bow. Ah, okay. And it works yeah. for, the, for the chronograph. There's also um, there's a firearm chronograph coming out. Also doesn't apply to air guns, <laughs> and, no? and then no. a whole bunch of air gun stuff that I can't tell you. Uh, so basically, basically, this interview has been utterly pointless. Everyone wishes they had the last five minutes of their life back. Yeah, well, you clearly don't. Except for me. Have you ever considered that? No, still not literally in. You just stand here literally all day long and it rains money at you. Okay, fair enough. So, when, when do you think that we might see? Can we? Are we allowed to know when? Uh, I think we'll have something for you in February. In February, it's going to be quite nice. Yeah. And then you know, around Iwa is when okay, we, Iwa's we do some always yeah. yeah. And that's all I can tell you. I, I wish I could tell you more. <laughs> right. We can turn off the camera. We can talk. <laughs> we, we, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we could do we could do that, couldn't we? Yeah. Okay. So no, it's right. it's uh, it genuinely uh, as always behind the scenes. There is some amazing things going on. There's going to going to be some things happening this year. Um, even from a facility standpoint, that is okay. really um, going to up the game. From a production standpoint, because yeah. I know a lot of people watching, last year the order book was just through the roof. People had to wait a lot. That has been rectified. We are, uh, you know, here in the U.S., we, last three months, I think we doubled the amount of rifles coming in. Okay. Um, so the, the, I think that's a, a lot of people's like, I, I want an M3, I want a Crown, different things yeah. like that. They are available. So I so, guess I guess yeah. people still have to expect because it's a pop, it's, it's a popular product. Right. So people still have to expect a little bit of weight. You might be lucky to, to go to a retailer. I'd and say they it's just more like it was in. two years ago, pre-COVID. Okay. Uh, the right. impact is catching up quickly. Yeah. That, it, that is still, I'd say, you know, three months, two months, two okay. quickly gaining. Um, and was that a rock? I don't know what that was. <laughs> and uh, Crown, Dreamline, Wildcats. Uh, the other rifles okay. are, are going to be on shelves. They, in fact, they, they they are on shelves, and I would say okay. that's worldwide as well. Worldwide demand yeah. is yeah. Uh, or uh, capacity is up. Yeah, factory's doing very very well, and then there's going to be some other announcements later on this year. Uh, big changes that are um, setting the stage for the future that um, is going to make a huge impact in the Aragon world. Excuse the pun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's fun. It's no better time and. Um, I think everything's going to be more normal this year. Uh, I know RMAC dates Fingers are announced. Um, yes. Yeah, I did see just the second week of June. Yeah. That's going to be as good as ever. Um, you go, are you going? Oh, absolutely. Silly question. And uh, put pressure on the guys over at Pyramid for the Pyramid Cup. I think that should happen in September. Okay. I think it would be foolish if they didn't. This is me blackmailing them. 
<laughs> so, okay. That's all right. You, Hi, you, just, you just completely take over my video and use it to your business benefit, yep. you, John? No, that's it's good like... for, for air guns, though. We love competition. Yeah. So a lot of good competition things coming. Cool. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's good. Fantastic. Are we going to do a tally up now? Uh, what do you reckon you've got? Two, four, five. I wonder if you've got enough for a new hat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think about eight, nine dollars. It's pretty and, good. And some shrapnel. Yeah, some change. That's pretty, That's good, pretty good, actually. That so you're gonna, a... you gonna, you gonna, you gonna share? Oh, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> good seeing you, Jeff. Okay. Yeah. Fine. See you around. Okay. And I just realised I've got my mask on. Hi, I'm Maggie Reese Voigt, and I am here at SHOT Show 2022, and I'm primarily known for my pistol and my three-gun competitions. I've been shooting in that world for about 10 years now, um, doing it all across the country and internationally as well. But something that I'm really excited for and the goals that I'm looking for for 2022 is to expand into air rifle, and that is how I met my new friend, Justin. So That's if you correct. do not know Justin at Utah Air Guns, this is the man to know when it comes to everything air rifle related. So we've been walking around, we've been hitting different booths, you've been yeah. showing me some things, yeah. teaching me all about it. So yeah. it's been awesome. But it's been awesome. What do you do? I walk, do your whole walk, intro. Walk, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm Justin Jacobson from Utah Air Guns um, here at SHOT Show 2022 with the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Giles Berry and his beautiful wife and um, so yeah we're having a good time we I, I cornered her here I'm like hey Maggie we really need to get going on this on this air gun thing but um, and we you know we we want to incorporate Maggie in some of the stuff we're doing and, and obviously some of the competitions because we need shooters like Maggie that are legitimate professional firearm shooters to come in to the air gun market um, because who better to to reach out to to the firearms world and bring people into air guns than professional firearm shooters, right? So one of the so. things that I'm super excited about is just the opportunity to get out on the range, to shoot, to get that time outdoors, to get that time with a, behind a gun. No ammo issues, yeah. don't need to source that, no hearing protection, it's easy, it's fun, it's convenient. We get all the same kind of information and feedback and, and really get to work with all the same ballistics and the components yeah. that way and still build that knowledge base, but just in a more relaxed kind of fun environment. So yeah. you provide the perfect vehicle yeah. to do that. So that's yeah. what I'm super excited about. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Mm. And we don't need an air uh, sponsor. No <laughs> no, air no. sponsors. No air sponsors. So. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't know. It's just been the the most fun for me the last couple of months because you actually set me up with an impact, yeah. um, which is super cool. And I've been going out with my friend, just sitting there. We kick back, we relax. It's super peaceful. It's super yeah. enjoyable, and it's that time on the range that we're all looking for, just to be outdoors, but no pressure. There's something yeah. kind of fun and just very relaxed about it that's yeah. different from the other rifle shooting that I've been doing and uh, I really appreciate that just kind yeah. of the good vibes out there yeah mm -hmm. uh, of course yeah. well and you you had mentioned hey I, mm -hmm. it'd be awesome to be able to get some trigger time yeah but I live in California I have to travel quite a ways to shoot mm -hmm. I said well hey why don't you shoot in your backyard that'd be awesome I know. And you're like, I know. All right, so something let's cool do that. to look for yeah. is uh, I'm gonna be diving into this whole adventure. You can follow me on Instagram, Maggie Reese Shooting on Instagram. So lots of more information coming and then we're actually gonna be developing a YouTube channel because I think it'll be fun. As I learn and experience all of this, I really wanna share the information yeah. with everybody else and this is the man that's gonna help me do it. Perfect. <laughs> that's it, like we actually know each other. And hold on. Hold on. They're off. They're off. Uh, right then everyone, next we're at Bullet Central. This place has got the legendary Mr. Dubber. And uh, yeah, he's made the trip all the way over from South Africa. And he's here with Element Scopes. He's going to give you a few tips and tricks when it comes to air guns and just generally chat about the Element range. Well, I've done my 40 hour flight from South Africa to the US via London, so terribly long journey and I'm very jet lagged, but we are finally here at SHOT Show and it's great to be here. Very glad to see that the show went on despite this whole COVID thing and very glad to see that there are a good number of people walking around. 
so the trip was worth it. And uh, I'm standing here in the Bullet Central booth, which is one of the Element Optics uh, retailers in the US. And uh, if you're in the airgun world, you may not know Bullet Central, and that's because they purely do firearm stuff. And I know you may be thinking, you know, Element Optics, uh, when we launched, took off very quickly in the in the in the airgun world. Um, a lot of people questioned, you know, is it a is it a scope that you can put on firearms? Is it a scope that you can put on spring guns? And I guess this brings up a really good point, you know, um, what design features make uh, a rifle scope good for use on an air gun? What features make it good for use on a firearm? And what do you need to look out for if you're shooting with a spring gun? Let me start with a spring but spring air gun because it. it it's a weird question to ask, you know. Spring air guns generally aren't that powerful. So why would a spring air gun require a scope that's built to certain specs? Well, the, the problem with a spring air gun is when you take your shot, you've got a massive piston pushing forward and your recoil, you've got recoil moving in directions that you normally wouldn't have when it comes to PCPs and firearms. With a firearm, your recoil is coming straight back, but with a spring gun, you've got this forward recoil and most rifle scopes aren't designed for that. So when it comes to uh, building a scope that can handle spring gun recoil, um, the, what's really important is the way that the lenses are actually assembled and uh, epoxied into place. Because if those lenses and the erector tube inside, that, that's the, the tube where, that kind of houses the, the reticle and a lot of other things, if that's not secure, securely in place, then uh, a spring gun can actually destroy it more than even something like a 50 BMG. So that's something to keep in mind. If you're going to put a scope on a spring gun, you should probably ask the, the manufacturer whether it's it's capable of handling that. PCPs are probably the the, the easiest in terms of handling handling recoil and vibrations and stuff because as you know, PCPs don't don't uh, move around much or vib vibrate much unless you're me and you're constantly dropping them on the floor or driving over rough terrain with them in the back of the truck. <laughs> But um, when it comes to designing a scope for PCP air guns, uh, one of the main things is, is just having parallax that's capable of coming down to really close ranges. And I guess that applies for, for rim fires as well. So that's something that was a no brainer for us because obviously we want to make products that are usable uh, in the, the precision air rifle world and also in the firearms world. So parallax down to, to 10 meters. This is the Nexus. We've got parallax down to 10 meters and uh, you'll find that all of the scopes we offer are pretty much the same and that's to kind of make sure that that the air gun market is happy with what we have um, another thing to keep in mind with air guns is that because the trajectory can be quite loopy uh, especially in the uk where you've got your sub 12 foot pound guns you need to consider your total elevation travel especially if you're going to be dialing the turrets up and down um, the other thing with an air gun is because you're zeroing so close you've got your barrel and you've got your scope and you've got a gap between them and your scope you actually have to adjust your turret quite a bit and use up a lot of your elevation travel to get your scope pointing downwards to meet the trajectory of your, your ammunition when you're trying to zero at close range and so typically on an air gun you actually use up a lot more elevation a lot of your total elevation travel while you're zeroing than you do on a firearm and so an air gun scope elevation travel is actually really really important now obviously we try to get the most um, elevation travel as we can but something I would highly recommend if you are putting any scope on an air gun regardless of, of make is that you you try to use a, a tilted mount or an adjustable mount rather don't use scope shims uh, in your in your mounts because that can actually damage the body tube of your scope but a tilted mount or an adjustable mount that allows you to bring the scope facing a bit more down will allow you to not only get the, mo the most uh, elevation travel as possible but it will also help you when you zero your gun to have it near the optical center which means you're going to get the best possible glass quality and um, many man ego manufacturers uh, like fx for example they have 20 moa of tilt built into the base of like the impact and the maverick and stuff like that to allow you to not have to use adjustable mounts all the time which is great but that's something to keep in mind um, and obviously when it comes to shooting with firearms recoil is is one important factor and all of the element optic scopes are tested uh, for either 500 or a thousand times uh, recoil of a 50 bmg uh, so that's a thousand times a thousand g's 
or 500 times 1,000 Gs depending on the model. And um, that just ensures that it's going to be able to handle pretty much anything in terms of recoil. Um, so I hope that answers some questions in terms of you know, what makes an air gun scope an air gun scope versus a, a firearm scope. Features are one thing, and the main thing is probably parallax when it comes to air guns. But everything else, um, the scope is pretty much universal, and we actually designed it with a firearms market in mind first. Um, it's just a much bigger market, but made sure that we remembered all the air gun guys. So I hope that was informative, and uh, thank you, Giles, for coming out here. So we need to do that again, the whole yes. thing. So from the outtakes video that I'm stood in the middle of the street in Las Vegas with cars and people all around and everyone around me is actually having a row about who we're doing what. They, they left, whoever that was. What's happening guys? Ton Jones here at Air Force Air Guns showing off some of the new stuff for 2022. If you've noticed, there's something that's missing from the end of the new Raws. It is now a threaded end piece, so you can put whatever moderator you want on there. You're no longer stuck with Arcan, you can actually customize it to be whatever you want it to be. And talking about customization, the chassis gun. The raw chassis gun is amazing, because now you can take it from this gun, with all the add-ons that are available through Rapid Air Works, Air Force Air Guns, you can outfit it completely to be this exact gun. Check this out. HM1000X fully decked out PRS style, starting with the MDT skeletonized stock, pistol grip from MDT. We got the gray ops right here, all the chassis weights. The new thing for raw is check out the drop down lever. That right there is awesome. My fat digits can make it work. And if that can work, anybody can. We have the Arca rail also from gray ops. We have the Armageddon gear bag right here for the bag rider. Well, the bag rest. We have the Arca rail that's all done by Gray Ops also. AccuTac bipod. Love these guys. Absolutely amazing. Genius. Then we're going to go to the KSS tuner right there. That's available. And the Donnie FL moderator. All of this is what your chassis gun can be. All you got to do is call us, order it and put it together. The only thing we don't have is the scope and that's up to you. But right here, you can take it from stock to full race car just with one phone call. Something that Ton didn't mention is that Rapid now actually comes into the UK. Oh yes, there is now an official dealership. Ask at your local retailer. You can now get a Rapid in the UK, sub 12 foot pounds. I think you can probably get the higher power version as well. So if you're looking for something a little bit different and you've always fancied yourself one of these and you're in the UK, you're now in luck. What's happening guys? Ton Jones from Air Force Air Guns here at the Air Force Air Guns booth. I'm the director of R&D, that's research and destruction. And this is what we got new for 2022. This is the Air Force Aero Gun. This bad boy right here, 450 feet per second. That is amazing. That means in the states that it's allowed, you can hunt whitetail. Everything here is what's brand new. The good thing about this gun, it only runs off of 1500 PSI. No, you don't have to overfill to regulate it down to 15. 1500 PSI is what it's at. That's what it takes to get 10 full power shots. And we came in with the carbine version. Still, this one produces 50 foot pounds of muzzle energy. This one's 100. So this is perfect for predators. Now you could take this, it's the only tunable air gun that has shoots bolts. All you gotta do is change out your valve cap to this standard ring lock set that Air Force already has. And you could take this from 450 feet per second down to 250 feet per second, down to 200 feet per second. That right there will conserve the bolts, give you more longevity because you're not trying to take down a willow tree we're hunting and target shooting. Tune it down, be able to shoot longer lasting arrows, 1500 PSI. That's how we do it at Air Force Air Guns. And that's what's new for 2022.
Everyone is pleased to be at SHOT Show 2022. It's oh, yeah. the SHOT Show 2022! There is one stand at SHOT Show 2022 that everyone is making a beeline for, and it's the Scout Airgun Stand. And you might say to yourself, well, what is that? Well, if I tell you that this is obviously clearly very new, but this airgun runs on a piloted valve system which is electronically controlled and it's all done by air. And if you say, well, hang on a minute, we've seen an electronic air gun before, I'm gonna to say to you, no, no, you haven't. Uh, this is not what you've seen before. This is a completely new system and it's coming out from Scout Air Guns. And while I kind of understand the terminology behind it, the best person to tell you more about it is Bill. And he's behind me just there and he's gonna do that for you right now. My name is Bill Gardner, and I've pretty much done nothing my entire life except design electro-pneumatic air rifles. We started in the paintball industry uh, 30 years ago, and we've come a long way. In fact, when we first started, paintball guns were, we had 850 pounds per square inch to produce 300 feet per second. Today, our newest and best guns produce 300 feet per second at actually 110 pounds per square inch. So what we wanted to do was bring our 30 years of experience in designing air markers into a PCP air rifle. And hence, that's the new Scout air rifle line. So I think what air gunners would appreciate is that we have managed to take a drop in pressure into our chamber considerably from existing air rifles. For example, a 25 caliber, generally speaking, to produce 900 feet per second, you need about 1,800 to 2,000 pounds per square inch. We have managed to achieve that at about 900 pounds per square inch, which is a considerable drop in pressure, which also leads to smoother action, smoother firing, and less vibrations through the gun. A few other things we've achieved, barrel design. We manufacture our own barrels. And when you buy a gun, say chambered in 25 caliber, we actually give you three barrel sleeves or three different bites at the barrel. So you have a, a light bite, a medium bite, and a heavy bite. That allows you to accommodate many different pellets. As you're well aware, generally speaking, an air rifle will shoot one pellet pretty well, but if you change brands or you move to a different pellet, you usually have some problems. The three barrel sleeves will allow you to accommodate that. Now you might ask, how do we achieve this lower pressure? Well, the basic conundrum of an air rifle, standard air rifle, is you have a chamber, you have a hammer. As you raise the pressure in the chamber, it's harder and harder to open the valve. You get valve lock, all part of the tuning. What we do here, though, is completely different. We have a small solenoid valve that pops a small burst of air at about 125 pounds per square inch. So the small valve opens a larger valve. It's called a piloted valve system. And that allows us to dump the entire plenum. We, do, we just don't pop a valve open for an instant and provide, we actually drop the entire plenum chamber in behind the pellet. That allows us to achieve the lower pressure and it also very, very small amount of mass moving in this gun. So there's hardly any kick at all. On top of that, we've done a couple other things that are quite interesting. Our regulator design, you guys are probably from most air rifles, you can only adjust the regulator in one direction. Well, we developed this max flow regulator many years ago, and what it is is it's a balanced regulator design. And what that means is, as the pressure drops in this tank from 4,000 down to say 2,000, there's a very small change on the other side of the regulator. We port that small change of air through a small hole to the other side of the piston, which gives us an even pressure throughout the entire range. But it also allows us to adjust the regulator up and down without having to bleed the gun. And it has an added benefit, and that is if you develop a small leak across your regulator seat, this regulator will continue to regulate at the banded pressure, but a small amount of air will actually escape to atmosphere. So, it doesn't build up pressure on the other side of your regulator, and it doesn't cause problems where your gun will cease to function. So you could actually have a small leak all day and not even know it. 
course, we would find that and correct it, but it just gives you options that you don't have with many air rifles. On top of that, you guys travel. The uh, bottle design is designed to be completely off so you can show the airline, hey, you know, our bottles are completely empty. This is something air gunners are starting to run into. If there's a valve within the bottle, um, they will sometimes take your tanks from you. So it's just something we've added. Now in terms of the electronics, this is an extremely light trigger pull. We are at 50 to 80 grams. And to make it safe, what we do is we have a little actuator switch right here. It's a window. So you touch this switch before you fire the gun and it opens up a timing window. It's a fully programmable window, so if I were hunting it might be 15 to 20 seconds. If I was involved in a bench shooting competition, I might set that window for 25 minutes. But it just, it's just a, a way to allow us to produce a very light trigger pull and still provide the safety that's necessary. The um, people might ask questions about electronics, battery charging. Well, coming out of the paintball industry, we actually do shoot 100,000 shots in a year in a paintball gun. Obviously, very few people come anywhere near that in an air rifle. But one charge of our battery will actually shoot this gun 200,000 times. And the battery really probably only needs to be charged once a year. Uh, that just gives you a feel for you know, some of the stuff that we've been involved with. Also, the gun has a chip in it that speaks to you in five languages. So when you're setting the gun up, we actually have an interface that will speak to you and tell you what your settings are, um, help you through whatever type of change, whatever settings you wish to make in the gun. In fact, we also have LCD displays as well as the language, um, the language situation. The grip on this gun isn't the final grip. The final grip that we're going to put on this gun will actually allow you to adjust for your palm and your finger positions. We'll have inserts that will go into this grip um, that will allow for that. The, um, the magazine is the quick release magazine um, and 25 calibers, about 25 shots. Obviously it will increase with if you go down to 117 and you'll lose a few if you go up in caliber to 30. It's chambered in 117, 22, 25, 30, and 35 caliber. Let's, let's just take a look at this side of the gun. We have three pressure gauges. One is the tank pressure. One is the pre-regulated pressure that provides a small pop of air to our solenoid valve. And the other is the chamber pressure. The gun, the velocity is completely controlled by the chamber pressure in the gun. That is the plenum, the pressure that's in the plenum that will dump completely when we fire the gun. From a coating standpoint and a finishing standpoint, you can see how beautifully finished these guns are. We will, uh, we, we've, been, we've been finishing these guns like this for many, many years. So we'll have a standard color scheme, but we'll also be able to provide many custom colors for um, the, the demanding air gunner. The barrel design in terms of quick release, we have a ratcheting technique it basically drives two tapers together. So we can very rapidly push a button on this side and release that barrel and take that barrel out and change those inserts very quickly. By taking this apart, you can slide a new insert in. You can change your caliper. If you change your caliper, obviously you have to make some adjustments to your bolt for a new caliper as well. Well, if you want more information, please look us up at scoutairguns.com. And if you're itching to buy one of these, please contact your local retailer and let them know. As I walk around at SHOT Show 2022, another stand that catches my eye is the Reximex stand. These guys have started to appear in really good retailers and I've seen them in England and they seem to be doing some very, very interesting things. Now this one, which is their new one, is called the Throne. Now, if you're outside of you know, different countries or something like that, you may find that that has a slightly different name. This is the name that Reximex give the gun, but you might find that your home country decides to call it something else. That's how it works. Anyway, this is the throne. And look at that, how smart is that? And I'm gonna start at the dangerous end, half inch UNF thread. You've got a baffled tube with the barrel inside, and there is, so they say, some sound moderation going on in there. You've got multiple bottle choices. So 
Uh, you've got this one here, which is the bigger bottle, and you can also have carbon bottle, small carbon bottle, big carbon bottle, which we'll come to in a moment. And the thing is, is that these are removable, what well, the carbon bottles are anyway. You can take them off and put them back on, and they're valved, which means that you don't have to degas. Then you've got, on the underside, you've got a nice little Picatinny rail on the bottom, Foster fill adapter. Then we've got a regulated system, which is adjustable. So you've got your tank gauge there. Then you've got your valve or regulator adjuster there. And look at that, that's a spinny one. So it's not, it's not Allen key based or anything like that. You can spin that with your finger. Then you've obviously got your regulator gauge side lever cocking which you can't do in here because i'm at a gun show but believe me it's there and it's ambidextrous so you can go from this side to the other side very interesting nice pick rail on the top i am seeing picatinny and i think there's dovetail on there as well now get this here's a quirk here's the safety and i'll do a little bit of a close-up for this but safe is up fire is down look at that and the trigger is adjustable in multiple different places. You have to take this little plate off and there is some adjustment there. Um, I haven't taken it off because I'm stood at a gun show, but you can do that. You have a pre-chamber at the back or your plenum. And that's very interesting because it's integrated within the stock as is the grip and the grip sits really nicely. Then at the back here, we've got the ability to take the barrel off interchangeable barrels so you can undo this barrel system slides out slides back in transfer port adjuster just there which is actually now i'm attached to a wire here so i've got a anyway i'll show you in a minute but there's a transfer port adjuster just there magazine slots in at the side and at the back you've got a hammer spring adjuster which you can just adjust by turning the knob rubberized shoulder pad which from what i can see doing it at a show, goes up and down. It does, anyway. And the whole thing shoulders really nicely. Look at that, that's fabulous looking bit of kit. 1772225 at the moment. It's gonna come in obviously high power in the USA. They can do them in lower powers in whatever country you need apparently. And we're talking prices, it's a little, you know, it's a show, things are new, but we're saying thousands, sub thousands, just a little bit, depending on your country. But actually, it's really, really nicely built. Nice and sturdy, everything is sort of polymer, um, and it just looks like a nice, sturdy bit of kit. So that's the throne from Reximax. And I will actually show you, if I turn around here, you can get it in all different sort of styles and colors carbon wrap you can have like a snake skin camo effect and down there you've got flat dark earth um, and again it looks incredibly well finished so there we go look at that that is the Reximex throne I think that's going to be very popular another one which is right next to the throne that is new from Reximex is called the zone now again same with the throne it may change its name from country to country depending on what the distributor wants. However, it's out there and it looks very interesting. So you've got a synthetic bullpup, aluminium cylinder, which means that you're saving a lot of weight. So compared to the Pretensis, it's an aluminium cylinder, which means that it's actually a lot lighter. You've got barrel on top, which is slightly baffled so you've got a bit of moderation threaded at the front what looks like there nice easy foster fill just there as well synthetic stock sort of running down I'm looking you've got some gaps on the side and there is a thread on the bottom so I'm guessing probably a pick rail may come with that nice big pick rail on the top for your scope it is a ball put ball pup, ball pud, ball pup. So it's side lever at the rear, magazine goes at the side. You have transfer port adjuster just there. That's your fill pressure gauge. There isn't any external adjustable regulator or anything. This is a standard 
hit and go rifle. But if you wanted to put a regulator in, Rexy Max is saying that is something that they can be spoken to about. Safety underneath is like a, a flip switch just there. Here we go. I can see the trigger, can't see any adjustments, um, but it looks again. And then I'm sure that's a slow, a, a slidey buttstock just there. But again, it it shoulders really nicely. You think to yourself, well, hang on a minute, there's not a huge amount of space back there for your for your head, or your big head like mine. Um, but actually, there is that that works really really well. And because you've got loads and loads of rail on the top, you can move your scope forward and back. Again, same as with the throne, the barrel is sort of like an in-house rifled steel one. Um, again, like I said, magazine loads on the side, 177, 22 and 25. Look at that, a nice, simple bullpup. Hey, Yolanda, how are you doing? How are you? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. So. Finally, people are going to get to meet the brains and the main person that runs Donny FL. Everybody sees Donny, <laughs> but actually, they need to know the person behind it. Just like I'm behind a certain person too. So, right, how are you, how's everything going? Have you been looking around the show? We have been going everywhere. You see tens of thousands of booths, and sometimes you just don't know where to go, and meeting everybody, seeing all the new products, it's absolutely amazing. And after a couple of years, it must be great to be back and to be seeing everything. It is, and after just reconnecting with people. Right, right. It's We have not seen some people in two years. I haven't seen you in two years. years. I know, so I know. It's I know. absolutely amazing. I bet you made it over the pond this time. <laughs> amazing, uh, brilliant. We let you come. Well, yeah, I was let come. Actually, men. I know. Well, actually, where would they be without us if we weren't organizing them, sorting them out? Where do we get started? Yeah, let's not even. But we are here really to talk about Donny FL. So, have you got anything you'd like to tell us about what you've got coming? Yes, absolutely. So, not that long ago, uh, in social media, there was uh, a little uproar of when are you going to bring back the fat boy? It was one of our first suppressors that we started um, and it was made in carbon fiber. People loved it. And we started getting requests for it, getting requests for it until we were like, you know what? Let's bring it back. So we had a little launching which sold out in an amazing amount of time and people really love it. So it's, it's a little can and um, What's really spectacular about it, that is, uh, for us, was we wanted to do something very unique out there. So what we did is, uh, instead of the front, we re redesigned the whole thing, first of all, but the front now has little air strippers where you could change the caliber. So if you have multiple guns and you don't want each one to have its own suppressor or you're going to uh, shoot and me, and you, know, you could change the calibers if you have different guns and you only need one. So that we That's were like, really we need to bring this, we need to take it out there, and so far people have been loving it. But I do have a question for you. Where did you get that name from? Actually, that it came from one of our customers. Did it? it? We did not have a name for it, and while we were thinking up of something, they started calling it the can. Or the can, I need the can, I need the can. Because it did look like a little soup can. And after that, someone was like, couldn't remember the name. They were like, uh, the, the suppressor you have, the, the fat boy. And after that, it was like, the fat boy, the fat boy, the fat boy. So it became the fat, the fat boy. boy. Well, there are lots of, uh, there's, there's lots of things we could think of to relate to that name, but <laughs> I like the name. Is there anything else you want to tell us about? Uh, yes, there's gonna be a muzzle brake that has just uh, come out. Um, it actually sorry, attaches sorry. to the front. What is a muzzle brake? Very important question. It actually helps with the recoil. So what you do is you attach it to the front and it actually makes it look absolutely amazing. More tactical, more, shall we say, badass. Badass, I like that name. <laughs> That's a very American saying, I like that. I really do like that. Well, obviously things are going from strength to strength um, and they're just growing, which is fantastic. It and is. Also, it means I get to see you at shows. So hopefully you're going to come on our side of the pond and we can see each other next time. Um, and then we can show wait. these guys how to do videos. Till next time. Bye bye. <laughs>
No, we just say press the button, Pippa. <laughs> Here on the Calibergun stand, you always know that they're trying to innovate and do something a little bit more. So this is very interesting. Now I need to point out straight away that it clearly says sample. Okay, so it's a sample. This is something that they're working on, but they're letting people know that they are working on it. So this is the caliber gun, semi-auto, as of yet, unnamed rifle. So if you've got some ideas for rifle names, maybe you could let caliber gun know. But this looks very exciting. Use your high quality caliber gun finish, but now with that semi-auto function. So what you've got, use your high quality barrel, then we've got a, I think this is a 580cc bottle, because obviously, obviously you're gonna be able to pull the trigger as fast as you can. Then we've got, down the side here, we've got pressure gauge, then we've got a regulator gauge. Underneath there, we've got adjustable regulator. Now, as I keep saying, I'm gonna keep saying caveats, sample. So things might move just a little bit. Um, they're not 100% set in stone, and I'm not actually allowed to have a look inside or anything like that, give you any secrets away. I'm just telling you that it's here. You've got the charging handle or the bolt at the side. Magazine goes in at the back, and of course you've got the usual uh, caliber gun magazines. Big plenum, nice big plenum just there. Lovely wooden stock, shoulder pad, and then there you've got sort of like the hammer adjuster, spring adjuster at the back. However, it could be possible that that might be there you might be able to put it there. There's, there's some discussion over that at the moment. So let's wait and see exactly what the geniuses at Calibre are going to come out with. Nice Picatinny rail on the top and it is solid. It, sometimes you see samples and they're a little bit, a mm, little bit, mm. this is solid. This has clearly had some thought go into it. So lovely big chunky uh, block in the middle, lots of rails, uh, it really is. Yeah, a very exciting little prospect. Fire and safe on the side. I made the mistake of saying full auto and I was told, no, 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 no. So it's semi-auto, pull the trigger as fast as you can and it's gonna chuck pallets down range. Two, 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 five and 30. And what they do say, because you've got that adjustable regulator and it's semi-auto, if you are gonna tune the rifle, don't go too low because they have like an in-house system where the air from the barrel comes back to help this part work. And obviously, if you try and go too, too low, you're not gonna get that semi-auto system to rotate. You probably shoot it single mode, no problem at all if you wanna go super low, but yeah, be sensible. And I know that's gonna be a question that people will ask. So that's it. That is the new mystery gun, the unknown gun from Calibre Gun. And knowing Calibre Gun as I do, uh, that's going to be a very exciting prospect and I'm sure we're going to see more of that uh, in Iowa at Germany. Once you, once you cook it, it doesn't move. Stop press. I don't always get things 100% right, but this is quite an interesting point because it will actually help with air and movement on the gun. So the charging handle, when you first load it, so when you put your magazine, you pull your bolt back, etc. Every time you shoot, that doesn't move. So don't think AR or anything like that. This isn't gonna be going rat -a -tat -a -tat -a -tat -a -tat down the side, it stays there. So it actually means that all the workings inside are gonna be more balanced. You haven't got something flying around inside there. They won't tell me what the valve system is. They don't tell me how it works. Uh, I think those are secrets that are yet to come out. Now, before I run off, from the caliber gun stand, I got handed this. And you're gonna say, well, I need a rifle, stock. But this is an actual carbon fiber stock. And that's not its only party trick, other than the fact that it's ridiculously light. I mean, when they handed this to me, you think to yourself, oh yeah, you know, it's like a, a synthetic stock that's got a layer on top. No, it's a carbon fiber stock. It's incredibly light. And we're saying, what, how many pounds? Half a pound. Half a pound. So basically what you've got is you're just carrying around the weight of the action and the metal work, but that's not its only, pa its only party trick. Because if I hold it like that, like that, and then if I do this, 
Look at that. There's actually a bipod built in the carbon the carbon stand. Now, I see a lot of things at a lot of shows, um, and I have to say there are sometimes you think to yourself, that's actually really quite clever. That's actually really quite clever. And I'm sure that that's going to get tweaked and changed and people are kind of going to come up with different ideas. But the fact that that, I think that's genius. There, is, there are some points that you actually, why has no one done that before? That's such a simple idea. And no matter how much you bash it around, it keeps coming back to the same place. That's really good. So we like that one. We like that one a lot. And I'm going to put that one down there because I can, because it's on a bipod. And then we go with this one, the tactical, and cricket two. And this one is 0.3 pounds. pounds. And wait for it, because I should have actually said, I'm told that you can, you can buy the carbon stock as an extra, and it will fit all of the cricket systems. So if you've got something from a few years ago and you think, oh, I don't want to part with my cricket, you don't have to. You can get yourself a stock. Look at that. How good is that? So there we go. Yeah, that's, a, that's one of the little innovations that I love. Switch in. Just swap, yeah. SHOT Show 2022 has spread its wings. They now have this lovely, very big swish exhibition room over on the Caesars side of the strip. And this little wall of loveliness is the hat sand stand, which is based right there. And as per usual, there are a lot of people out there that actually know products a lot better than me. So I'm gonna hand you over to Cecil. So for Hot Sun USA and Hot Sun Arms Company, um, this year we're delivering the uh, Hot Sun Factor RC. Um, this is our entry into the competitive gun. I actually fired this gun at the RMAC in 2021. So um, we have the adjustable, externally adjustable regulator. We have an externally adjustable um, hammer spring preload. And on the other side, you have an externally adjustable transfer port, transfer port restrictor. Um, so it's very adjustable. You can tune it to whatever pellet you're using. So it works really well for that competitive. We really were kind of aiming for that field target uh, shooter, but it also works well for 10 meter silhouette, other things like that. You also have a removable carbon fiber bottle. So you can um, hot swap the bottles without you know, having to degas it or anything. You can just um, remove the bottle, put on a charged bottle and keep on shooting. The adjustable regulator, you adjust it right here in this slot. The gun comes with a tool so you can adjust the, the regulator. You've got your bottle pressure here, regulated pressure here, and new for hot sun guns. There's a foster fitting right here and it comes with an extended foster fitting that you can add on to your, your fill hose or just add an extra foster on adapter on it. Um, but this uses a foster fitting, which will please a lot of people. Um, it has an adjustable trigger shoe that you can adjust for the angle side to side and up and down. And of course, it's our standard two-stage quattro trigger. So it has a very adjustable trigger. Um, you've got an adjustable butt pad that is um, commercial AR spec. So you can swap that out with any commercial AR spec pistol grip or butt stock. Um, the charging handle is reversible, so the south paws will be happy. Um, it comes with a single shot tray in the caliber of the gun, naturally. So that's really good for silhouette and field target. Um, it also comes with two um, swing load magazines, similar to what the Blitz came with. Um, and it also has the shroud with the QE suppression and you can unscrew the cap and you can put your favorite Donny FL on there and be even more quiet. Last thing is, it, as with all, all of our good high-end PCPs, you have the combo rail so you can use 9mm, 
um, Weaver or Picatinny mounts. So that's pretty much the Factor RC. Um, we announced it last year, but it will be shipping this year. Um, and we actually get to show it to you at SHOT Show because we had one. Okay, so new for 2022 is our Model 65. This is a semi price point uh, brake barrel spring piston gun. Um, uses a coiled metal spring, um, Turkish walnut stock. You have an adjustable comb and our poly shrouded barrel and suppression system QE um, technology. And it also has our quattro trigger that all of our other high end brake barrels have. So that's a lot of features built into a gun that is going to retail for an MSRP of just under $200. All right, welcome. Uh, we're here at the 2022 SHOT Show. Uh, I am Oscar Haugen from uh, GRS Rifle Stocks. Um, we are here exhibiting our uh, rifle stocks, of course. Um, you probably know them from uh, before. We do fully adjustable rifle stocks. It's push button adjustments. Uh, we actually really uh, recently teamed up with FX Air Guns. So they are using this now on uh, the FX Crown and the Dreamline. The push button adjustments and the ergonomics that we do uh, kind of make you isolate the shooting position. So uh, you shoot really accurate with it. The number one seller that we have is uh, the Studio Sporter for the laminate side. Uh, we also do a couple of, uh, of uh, composite stocks. Um, we do them for uh, Remington 700, Tika T3s, uh, Hawas. Uh, Hawas is especially um, important for the UK market. There's a lot of those over there. Uh, other than that, we do um, uh, basically anything that you need in a, in a laminate stock. We also have uh, a couple of new models for this year. Um, we do have one here called the GRS Hunter, the Hunter Light. So the Hunter Light is uh, meant for um, shorter uh, people. Um, it has slimmer grips, a bit shorter length of pull. Uh, very light stock. This one is um, a thou uh, sorry, 1.1 kilo, so it's really lightweight. Um, also made for Tika T3s, uh, Revit 700s, all that kind of stuff. Uh, these ones actually use uh, spacers on the end. So you can uh, go from uh, this and then you can add up to three centimeters more. Really uh, good value for money in stock. Good to be here at the SHOT Show. It's been uh, really popular. Uh, we have had customers from all over the world as we normally have as well. Uh, and it's uh, been great. It's been great uh, getting back together for after the pandemic uh, to see the industry again. It's been a long time. Uh, if you uh, want to see more, go to our homepage, grsriflestocks.com. Um, you can see all the models there, uh, the entire selection, and also dealers uh, where they are. Thank you very much for uh, joining in, and um, have a great day. This. This is a K9 helm and this is a Mohawk camera. They're designed to protect the dog's head. For, uh, it's eye protection just like we wear. It's bump protection in case he gets bumped in the head. And it has hearing protection as well. And it can be integrated with uh, communication systems for dogs to be able to hear commands when they're going side. And the camera transmits a video feed back to me so I can see what's going on when I send him into a house. So I can see and communicate with my animal. Okay. I is that, do you do search and rescue? Uh, what, what? I'm a dog trainer, so I train okay. dogs to do these things. Right. So, that's so, a, that's yeah. that's so bite do. work, uh, you know, protection, apprehension, detection of whatever, you name it, from electronics to explosives to narcotics, uh, we train everything. Now, the corner by Air Force has suddenly become YouTuber land. And uh, this is Ben. Now, Ben does shooting gear reviews on YouTube. He's also on 101. But I watch him quite a lot, and his stuff's very informative, and he shows some good uh, products and good, good content. So go check him out. Ben, good to see you. Good to see you too, guys. Now, you've had a walk around SHOT Show. F yes. First time, second time? Um, I think it's like my fourth or fifth time to the okay. SHOT Show, yeah. Right. And have you seen anything you like? What, what, what does Ben like the look of? Oh, man. It's, well. It's just, first of all, fun to be here, right, and get to see everything. It's like it's overload. Yeah. Um, but if we're talking air guns, um, man, I was pretty excited about some of the stuff I saw over at the Umarex booth. 
Um, there's a lot to mention over there, but I think specifically, I have been just, ever since I saw their Javelin come out, I was like, this is CO2, why didn't they make it PCP? And of course this year, they've got the PCP Air Javelin. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to see that and hopefully get that in for testing soon. But I mean, gosh, I could keep going. There's just a lot, there's so much cool stuff here. Yeah. Now the Air Javelin, is that the new twin barreled one? No, that's the, that's the Air Sabre, I believe. Okay. So the Air Sabre is the one with the double barrel. Right. Um, and then the Javelin is the smaller uh, version of that that had previously been CO2. Okay, yeah. so we have a little bit of a gray area with those in the UK. So unfortunately, right. we're not allowed to have those. It's the arrow guns. Okay. Yeah, it's a little okay. bit. We won't go into a politics here, um, but now, but but we do see people shooting them over here, and they yes. do seem yes. really effective. Yes. Um, and the guys in South Africa use them as well. So, so you you're obviously enjoying that. Yeah, um, yeah. It's just it's fun. It's something different, and it's cool just to see that the, there's companies that are here at the show, and they've got new products, and they're continuing to improve their products, and that's what this is all about, right? Yeah. Getting to see the new stuff. That's the that's the good thing is that literally you, there are people here. Yeah. And I know everyone's saying, oh, your face masks and stuff like that. Well, the actual regulation here is, is that if you're doing an interview, you, you can, can actually take them take off. It so off. Yeah. we have to put them, everyone else, as you see behind us, has to put them on. But there we go. Um, and over the last sort of 12 months, you've done a huge amount of reviews. Mm -hmm. um, people respect what you say. What do, what do you like? What, what, have you, what have you been enjoying over the last couple of, couple of you know, months? Yeah, I mean, gosh, I, I, would, I would like to say everything I get my hands on I really enjoy. Um, but I think one of the most exciting guns that I've seen has got to be that 72 cal AEA Zeus. Okay. I mean, it's just kind of like... 72 cal, right? How can you <laughs> how can you not get excited about that? You know, yeah. so smashing watermelons and everything with that has just been a, a lot of fun. Um, so probably that's sort of been the highlight, I think, of the last few months is, is getting to have my hands on that one. And again, we can, I think we can have that in the UK, but we have to have that on a firearm. Yeah, you'd have get. to have a certain, yes, because that's a 1,300 foot pounds. It's a little bit over the 12. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, you definitely would need that on a firearm <laughs> stick yeah. in the UK. Whereas you guys, you can just buy it in the post, can't you? Yeah, it just yeah. arrives. Yeah, just I mean, just they just they just give them away actually, just to anyone. You walk, you know, just walk into the store and they're handed children an air gun. Actually, no, I'm just kidding. No, yes. <laughs> but I know it's, it's still you can still people still buy guns in Walmart yeah. and stuff like oh, that. Yeah, Walmart, yeah. the big box stores, they're available, and um, of course, uh, you know, with. Uh, regular firearm, you have to pass a background check, but here in the U.S., there's no background check, no real uh, regulations on yeah. it. So it's pretty nice to be in the U.S. I don't envy you guys at all. Yeah, I wish we could still have that. So, and anything exciting coming up in the next few months for you? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, there's always some exciting stuff coming out. Um, you know, uh, AA's don't got give, some new don't guns. Don't give secrets away. Uh, don't do that. Umarex has got some new stuff. So, I mean, we've got some new guns coming out. So, I mean, definitely, guys, follow the channel, Shooting Gear Reviews. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Because, um, you know, that's what it's all about, new guns. I mean, all the time, yep. new stuff, right? Absolutely. We'll put a link in the description box below, and he's also on 101 as well. So, yes. so yeah, so, Ben, good to see you. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much, Al. Keep making them. And uh, that's Ben. Go check him out. See you guys. How's it going? Mark over here from Accutech. Got a new product this year for, for SHOT Show. We got new PRS bipod. Still the, the VR4 length. Now, quick deployment. Also with the new Arca rail. So you go halfway, you can slide it back and forth all the way, quick detach. We also have the new skis, which are an upgrade from the sleds, it actually articulates now instead of just staying still. So if you are on bench rest and you have a lot of recoil, it's not going to jump, it's just going to articulate with that rifle. Let's see. So we still have the canning and panning. What else do we got here? SR5. Basically our flagship model. Lots of height. All the wide bodies. So, SR5, wide body. So you can see the actual difference in the width. This would be more for shooting off tires, stuff like that. We also make machine in-house 30 and 34 millimeter scope rings with integrated bubble. 
And I just want to say, everything is USA made, machine in-house, every part of this. And it's a lifetime warranty, so if anything were to fail or break, it's replaced, or if we fix it for you, no questions asked. So I showed you the, the PC4. This is a PC5, so it has the SR5 length legs on it, but with the panning and canting. Hmm. Let's see, HD50, more for 50 BMG, larger caliber, nice and stout. Still get a good height on it, but that's not going anywhere. All of our products are actually made from T6 6061 aluminum, so very sturdy, very high quality. Um, if you want, you can check out at our local retailer or at accu-tac.com. Check out our full line. I've finally caught up with these two guys. So we've got Austin and we've got Justin. This is Utah Airguns, everyone. Okay, now you know these you know these guys by now. <laughs> they do legendary things with airguns and stuff like that. But guys, good to see you. I'm going to shake your hands. Good to see you. Can. Always good to see Giles. Always good to see Giles. Are you, are you, are you, sure. are you well? Are you good? Yeah. Yeah. It's Vegas. Good. Last last day of shot <laughs> yeah. show, so we're we're pretty good. We're we're running on about you know. 70%. So if you're the yeah. same as me, legs are swollen, feet are tired, yes. yeah. we've all got dry mouth. Yes, um, literally, it's like we're hankering to go home even though we're at the biggest gun show in the world. But anyway, there we go. <laughs> as you know, these guys are responsible for Armac, which is, by f I mean, it's the biggest air gun competition, biggest prize, pot, biggest everything. But I know that you guys have got some news on dates. We do. Things like that. Yeah. yeah. So, so when is it? 2022. June 15th through the 19th this year. 15th to the 19th. 15th to the 19th. Go right. on your calendar. Okay. <laughs> this is going to happen this year, I think, isn't it? I think by the looks of it, I think we're. Well, yeah. I don't want to break your insurance policy. <laughs> <or anything. laughs> yeah, it's so, happening. <laughs> Giles didn't quite say that, but we we pretty much think it's going to. I think it's going to happen. That's yeah. my opinion, not less. And, and, yeah. and basically. It's huge. What was it? What was first prize last year? Twenty one. Twenty one thousand for the Bentress prize. Wow. Total of around seventy thousand yeah. in total prize money. So across second the place events. in Bentress was ten thousand. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's a new car. Yeah. It's a new car. Yeah. Well, it is in England. It is in England. So you're going to go bigger, bolder, wider. Yeah. Um, so s probably similar amount of competitors to. 200 probably capped because okay. we just the logistics of getting so everybody got, through but it's lim it is limited numbers limited yeah. numbers um yeah. we may even look at uh possibly doing a qualifier match before that wow. for, for at least the sportsman's class just because it's become such a a draw and high demand to get in and it's good to have it, at, at that level of event it's good to have people that are somewhat experience with a few competitions so they kind of know how it runs and yeah it, it uh they're not kind of holding up Got everybody you. as they have to yeah. be kind of taught as they go which i don't think if anyone goes through a qualifying round it also gives them a little bit of experience as what to expect on the day yeah, absolutely yeah. practicing get you know get prepping your gun yeah. Yeah. getting you know understanding range rules and stuff like that because i mean in england for example we have a few ranges but when you say this is a range master and you do as the range master tells you if all you do is hunt in the field, you may not understand what that is. So a qualifying thing might yeah, be a good thing. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. 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 So, but um, I, mostly, I mean, the things we're going to, same events, basically, a little bit different looks. Um, bigger, better, for sure. Bigger and better, for sure. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so prizes will be bigger. Um, categories will be a little bit bigger. A little bit, you'll see a little bit different target styles and diverse styles and um yeah. we're, we're starting to see a lot of influx of firearm shooters like yeah from the you know the prs and the nrl and uh so that and they they do things a little bit different the mm -hmm. way they the the shooting style where um they're shooting from you know barricades and and different positional stuff and and there's a lot to be learned from that yeah from that world yeah that's uh so so we're, we're we're trying to align a little bit more with with some of that style of shooting, okay. and you know the bench has always been the high mark, 
we'd like to see the precision rifle and the speed kind of come up. Yeah. Yes, got you. To be level that in, yeah. in all regards, I think it's actually tougher to win the precision rifle category than the bench rest, mm -hmm. honestly. For sure. Yeah. Um, so. I mean, it, it, the, the precision stuff is a huge discipline. It, I, I can't do it. It's just, I can do the bench because I sit and I shoot. But right. moving and shooting, no, that, that takes a real art form. Yeah. Um, it, it, yeah. It does, and it, it's yeah. You're right. It's it's not for everyone. It, it does. It's it's definitely more physical demand. Yeah. And and especially, I mean, not just because of the positions you put yourself in, but when you're trying to hold positions from an awkward stance, you got to learn how to. Yeah. To do all that stuff, and it, it's a whole other method of shooting that uh, is. Yeah. It's quite yeah. interesting to the. You know, those yeah. young bucks that can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, young. Uh, not after you've done three days at Shot Show. Right. Yeah, no, no, exactly. yeah, I would, yeah, I wouldn't do well in one of those right now either. No. I can imagine, <laughs> I, if I drop something on the floor, it's staying on the floor right now. <laughs> I just don't care what it is. Um, so, and the shop growing, booming, bigger, bigger, bigger. Yeah, yeah so we, we, um, we actually just uh, are in the process of purchasing the building. Uh, adjacent to us now. Okay. So we'll be adding about another 6,000 square feet to that. Wow. Uh, so cool. open up some other shooting lanes. We're, we're actually looking at maybe doing some some 10 meter competition stuff in there. Yeah. We're, we're kind of trying to break into that world a little bit. So yeah. W without doubt, I visited, and I'm not blowing smoke up these guys because I'm stood with them. <laughs> the UA shop is now without doubt, it's kind of like, you don't just go there to buy your pallets it's a destination oh yeah, yeah that's you, our goal you've had guys from all over the world just walk in and go oh, i had to just come <laughs> yeah so it's, it's now a destination to visit you see the range on the facebook lives and all the videos and the range really is as good as it seems yeah i mean it really is a phenomenal shot thank so you thank do, you do thank go you. and check it out if you get the chance yeah and of course you guys as well i know you're championing bringing in people from the firearm side you're trying to say hey you need to look at these air guns. You, you don't need powder, you just need air. And you yeah. guys are champ, you know, you're working on that. For sure. We are, yeah, that's been our focus a lot for marketing lately. Well, for quite a while actually now yeah. is, um, we, we haven't really targeted just the air gun market. Um, frankly, we feel like the air gun market, they they know, they, 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 yeah. they, they, there's so much resources to educate them on what's going on in the, with, with air guns to that crowd. So we're really trying to market to reach out to shooters in general, mm -hmm. not not just the arrogant crowd, but shooters in yeah. general and build, you know, bring people into the arrogant sport. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's def definitely, I mean, don't get me wrong, brake barrels and springers are great, they're good fun, but things have really moved on. Yeah, and, sure. You know, we are now, I think, right up there, we, we, are, we should be recognized as part of the firearm industry totally. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because that's what it is. Yeah. So, I agree. So we got so we got Armac, which we now know when that is. You're growing, expanding, uh, bringing new people on. I, I don't know anything else. I mean, we're missing anything. <sighs> what else? Let's see. Added some brands this last year. New brands. So um, yeah, there's been some, yeah, there's been some new brands come aboard. You know, we you know we have, we have Ed Gun in the in the yeah. lineup and Air Max Arms. Air Mac Arms, which has been a fantastic brand. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know we we kind of moved in a lot of the the night hunting stuff as well, so yep. thermal and night vision and stuff. That's we're, we're starting to channel that stuff and and even make you know accessory parts to facilitate that kind of gear. Sure. So yeah. And just to say to everyone out there, if you get if you're on Facebook or stuff like that, do follow these guys because they do the lives, so you get inside the range with these guys and. They're actually shooting the products live, which is actually unheard of, isn't it, really? I mean, you get to, we don't normally all do live. It's kind of recorded. Yeah. And you get to ask them questions as well. So if, you, if you've got a question, get on yeah. there and follow them. Because when a live starts, you get to see the latest thing. And you can actually ask questions as it's happening. So you can say, you know, how do you put the, the magazine, the, mag, the pellet in the magazine? Sure. And these guys will go, well, here you go. That's how you do it. So, yeah. Okay. So it's worth following. Yeah, it's fun to do too. We, we enjoy yeah. The, yeah. The, the interaction. It's, it's normally fun. about for the UK. It's normally about nine, nine, ten o'clock in the evening. So just after Coronation Street, <laughs> just a soap opera. You don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some cobbles in a pub. 
and some people and they go to the local shop and have a few drinks and have a row. I think someone killed someone in one episode the other week. But anyway, it all happens in Manchester. Different story altogether. Um, so, so we got that. And um, I'm about to get copyright strike for saying the word Coronation Street on YouTube. Anyway, let's carry on. Um, and there's one other thing. And I've, we've been discussing it off camera. And I, so I'm going to try and say it publicly. British shooting show. Probably not this year. But I think there's a lot of people in Britain that would like to have a five minute chat. What do you what do you think? I'm, I'm actually putting it out there and this might this might end up costing a few people the money stood around here right now. Uh, I would, you thought we, about coming over? We'd love to come over. Um, yeah, I, I, we just want to come and you know we, see we everyone. Don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. We wanna, yeah, we want to see that and I'd, and I'd love to be able to interact with with you guys over there and and uh, yeah and just have a good time. Yeah. Hang out with you primarily. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. On his home turf. Yeah. I got I got a sofa bed. You good? Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can manage uh, that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've offered a lot of people my sofa bed for the British shooting show, so you just work it out amongst yourselves. So we're no one special, I guess, but... <laughs> I don't know. We've slept in worse, don't worry. We're not, we're not, going, we're not going there anymore, because I'm going to get myself in a lot of trouble when we stop videoing in a minute. So... <laughs> Uh, but no, okay, so let's see. Let's see if we can work it out for next year. Yeah. But I know, I know uh, you want to come. And, I think... and you may even have your own stand by then. Yes, you've just dropped that in on me as well. So <laughs> thank you very much, Mr. Justin. Here alive, right? <laughs> I've, got that. That. I've got the edit button though, so yeah, I can yeah, cut yeah. that bit out. Anyway, there we go. <laughs> so yes, hopefully, fingers crossed. And like I said, I think there are hundreds of people that would just like to just come and say hi and just get some of this people like to stop by and say hi apparently <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did they? okay yeah we found, found that a lot so um, and this branded kit and stuff like that i think everyone would love to have the opportunity to get hold of some of that so that's super yeah. popular we'd love to do it yeah, yeah. we'd love to do that good. so okay so right looking forward to it actually yes oh so uh, it would be magical i can entertain you rather than you doing the other way around <laughs> perfect yeah absolutely jet I'm lag. Right with that yeah we can yeah we'll share yeah we'll have the jet lag this time we'll have the, the jet, jet lag. lag yeah yeah possibly the bad sleeping arrangements <laughs> but i owe you one <laughs> you <laughs> <It's a dwarf. laughs> yeah. the sleeping arrangements look i i owe you i owe you i owe you i owe you uh well, you owe me a bad sleeping arrangement, honestly. I do. Yeah. I'd like to point out that the last time I came over, there, um, the Australian that arrived before everyone else got the bed at your house and got well up, got home cooked food and everything like that. I, I don't quite know how that works. Hmm. Yeah. You know, he's a, yeah. he's a, he's a, he's a good talker. <laughs> he he's got oh, that he Australian ox yeah, accent. He is. Yeah, and, I'm not going to say no. Know, it's hard to say no. Yeah. Who's, yeah. who's going to say no? Yeah, I know. That's the problem. So. Right. Before this goes completely wrong, right. we'll finish. <laughs> we'll do it that way. My friend. There we go. Always good Guys, to see you, man. Always, always see you. our friend. It's been fabulous after two years to see you. Yes. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. You, you as well. We're, yeah. And I finally got to meet. Headphones off. Come round. Yeah. Get over here. <laughs> That's it. Just come and stand and there. And I finally there we got are. to meet. So, that my that's it. don't turn on the wires <laughs> there we are it's the wife you've got the mask yes. on yeah. right that's it you've done your bit now go back around there put the headphones back on earn your plane ticket <laughs> there we go go ready magic yeah. take care take thanks care. yeah peace listen i'm so sorry but my show it just ain't ready we've trying absolutely everything that we can to put it together in time and for it to be good enough for you oh thank you thank you very much but we've been absolutely destroyed by deliveries delays and covid half my crew and half my team are down with covid they still are and it's been impossible to finish the show and i can't give you what i have right now Thank you, thank you very much. And I'm going, I'm going, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, it's so last minute and I've been made to work 30 hours this week trying to figure it out. And we run out of time and I'm so upset. And I'm really embarrassed. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much, it makes me feel a lot better. You can still visit my shop and buy stuff that gives me money. Uh, actually, sorry, you can buy some merchandise. It's nice. And it should, oh, thank, thank you very much, it should sort of make up for it a little bit. Yeah. Uh, what's this? What's this? Hang on. What's this? Shot show. Shot. 
Shot show's ready? Uh, oh. Is it ready in five days? Oh, that, that kind of makes me look really, really stupid now, doesn't it? Eh? I mean, five days and it's all done. Oh, I've been at this for weeks. <sighs> Maybe, where's my fund? Maybe, Maybe we should just all go to a shot show. Oh, it's better. Thank you very much. That's it. A long flight home and days of editing to bring you this. Thanks to everyone involved, for those doing childcare, to the team holding things together while I travel, the people in the video, and thank you for watching. Stay well, and we'll see you soon.